Hey guys, what's going on? Lever2000 here, back with some more City Skylines. And uh, today we are ready to uh, get this downtown core on the go. Uh, just a couple of things I did uh, in between episodes. Just extended this road down here to get it set up for city access. Extended this road to get it set up for city access. And just brought these two roads in and out of the city and that's all I did. So... Uh, you didn't miss anything, just getting it set up for this episode. So here we go. Uh, let me see. Let's go. This is what we're going to do. We're going to have a road that comes out like this. Like that. And then hopefully connects up there. Perfect. And then we're going to have a road over here. It comes out to about the same amount. And then we'll just freeform it. It's going to come over like that. And then connect up, hopefully. Uh, hoping it was a little... Sp okay, there, that works. Okay, so there. We have our in and our out that leads to that avenue that you could head way down here and uh, get access back to this part of the city or way further down. Over here, we're going to have much of the same thing. We are going to have our out road come out here. It's going to just come out, curve around, and pretty much meet up like that. We're going to have our in road right off there into the city like that pretty simple so there are we ha right now we have two ways of getting in and out of our city and the third this one's a little tougher um, because we are coming off the highway and I'm really uh, not the best at uh, <laughs> this part of it but uh, we'll see what we can do here we're gonna have an off ramp from the highway to this one way road going into the city. We are going to have somewhat of the same thing over here. Uh, page up. Hopefully, we can make this work. Oh. We're going to make this come down there. Curve around, connect up. There we go. So we have an in road from both sides of the highway. And now we get to build our out roads on both sides. So first one can come straight out, come down this way, and connect up. Second one is going to come out this way. So, we're going to bring it maybe to about here. We're going to bring it up. It's going to come over the highway, loop around, and come right down. And there we go. We have three ways in and three ways out of the city. And this one goes for both sides of the highway. So, it uh, doesn't look spectacular, but it'll get the job done. And we are ready for zoning, I believe. So, next question is, how are we going to zone this? Well, um, I want to leave room in the middle um, in this square and this square for city services. Other than that, we're going to keep our offices in the center here. Uh, our commercial right here and here. Or sorry, in here. And then our residential on the outside. So we have a demand for offices and uh, commercial right now. So let's zone a little bit of office space. Go on both sides here. We'll see how this turns out. Like I said, I've made stuff similar to this, but not exactly. So I honestly could not tell you how this is going to turn out. And we'll do office there. And then we'll uh, let's add our first two housing areas into. 
Actually, let's just paint this because it'll be easier. There's a lot of clicking here. So we'll paint all this for residential. So my biggest thing with, with building this city was to make it look good at the same time. Like, I, did, I didn't want to do just a plain old grid because, I don't know, I just think that's boring. I wanted to do something different. I like symmetry and things, so I think this is pretty cool. And obviously this is just all over the place. I think this also looks good. Um, just the way it's kind of like a smaller town feel. But if we're going to go for a city, let's make it look good. So... Without further ado, let's unpause. We'll go down to uh, times two speed here. And we'll see how this turns out. So, uh, what did I add? I added two high des density commercial zones here and here. In the center here, these are office zones, which also count as industry. Those are industrial zones, but they're office buildings instead of factories. And then on the outside here, it's high, high density residential, so that's like apartment buildings. So we'll see how this goes. We're going to have to add some power and water. And it uh, looks like we're running low on power. So let's check some more of these guys in here. Another 40 megawatts. And we'll have to see how this zones up. Um, it's starting in different places, so we might have to run power to all of it but actually I'm just gonna hold off on the power momentarily we're doing good on water so we don't need to add anything right now and we'll just try to zone this water as best we can across the city should be good we'll run a line down here and straight over and connect that up and we'll just run some grids straight across. Try to encompass the whole city. And uh, we might as well do it now and then we won't have to worry about it. Uh, it's probably cheaper to go like this. Not pretty, but we don't have to see it, so... It's fine. I'm going to speed it up a little more. I know they need power. I just would really like them to be more of a solid grid. But I'm thinking that might not be the case. Okay, so here's what we'll do. We'll run some power lines. Oh, we got to watch out for this road. Run some power lines to here. Uh, and then we'll go we'll continue on there. Since we didn't zone the outside, we're okay. We'll run that over to there. And then really our only issue is uh, is this area over here. Um, it'd be nice if some houses went up there, but I think they're going to build all over here first. Um, did I zone this middle area? Let me see. I didn't. Okay. So I think if I just go like this... And run power lines from here, uh, here. I know this is going to look bad for a minute, but it shouldn't last too long. And there we go, power. Excellent. All right, so we're all powered up here, and our power lines aren't going to interfere with the zoning of any of our buildings, which is excellent. And we're going to start to get a little city on the go here. Traffic seems to be moving pretty smoothly so far, although there isn't a lot of it. But as you can see, there's quite a bit here coming in and out, but it seems to be flowing very smoothly. There's no backups right now. Now, I am a little concerned that vehicles coming out of our industrial zone may want to go through this city to get out to this highway. So we may have to think about having this avenue continue on over here and have access to the highway to prevent the trucks. Although if we put a heavy traffic ban um, in the city here, we might be fine. Let's rename this district to our downtown core. That's what we'll go with for now.
for now it will be our core we're definitely going to build a bigger city at some point but this is our starting point for uh, cities for sure um, we have a recycling policy is that's is this a heavy traffic ban? do we have a ha heavy traffic ban everywhere I hope not okay so that heavy traffic ban is going to pre prevent trucks from entering and exiting um, I think I might get rid of that though for now because it's not a problem right now um, sure we can keep recycling because we're making a lot of money um, yeah other than that everything looks fine the rest of the city uh, we are at three times speed here so it is taking a little while for this to jump up into action there is more demand for um, industry, so let's go ahead and add some more office space. Can keep this running while I do this, I guess. We'll add a little bit more industry here, some more offices. I haven't decided if I'm going to zone this center part yet. I'm tempted to, but I don't know what that would do to the traffic circle. I think it de depends on what I zone. But um, for now, we'll keep it empty and, until we're quite comfortable uh, that if we do do it, it's not going to hurt our traffic. All right, so as we can see, our demands down here are like basically nothing. Um, people are pretty satisfied right now um, with uh, with all our different uh, areas. But we do have quite a bit zoned here um, as the demand rises for it. So um, as you can see, there's uh, let's zoom in here a little. We got lots of apartment buildings going up. We've got some pretty big like shopping plazas, commercial center. Um, shop till you drop center all kinds of like little shopping mall areas um, and then we'll take a look here at these offices we got some uh, Trident Accounting Trident Accounting again Solutions Inc so we got some office buildings customer service services nice everybody's favorite spot uh, new building, we got an incinerator, and I think we should put this to use right away. Um, issue, it creates a ton of pollution, but what it's going to do is it's going to take garbage from our garbage dumps, and uh, it is going to incinerate it, and that's actually going to generate power for us, which is fantastic. Um, you know, we're getting rid of our waste and creating power for our city, which I'm, uh, I'm definitely a fan of. Um, downside to it is that I'm going to build an access road off here. Hopefully that'll help um, with traffic. But um, downside to it is that it is going to pollute like crazy. So I'm going to put it over here. I'm actually going to drop two of them down. Actually, let, let's see how this does. Um, it's going to need water, so we'll just have to run a pipe over to it. Other than that, it'll be fine. And it's going to generate power, so we do want to hook it to the grid. So I'll just jump it over here. And uh, we should have some garbage trucks heading over to it um, pretty soon to bring it some, uh, some garbage. And I'm not sure if we have to tell this plant to empty to another facility, or if it'll just do it automatically. Let's let's tell it to. Hopefully that yeah, okay. So you can see the convoy is taking it to the incineration plant. Now it's going to start outputting power. Ten megawatts, eleven, twelve. Um right now it's giving us twelve that extra megawatts of power in our city. And uh that's just from this landfill emptying into it, which is awesome. I think that's great. Um, it's gonna create a lot of pollution, but oh well. For me, that's worth it. I uh, got a little crime here. So, um, right now, before uh, this place gets too out of hand, 
I think we better look at um, adding some services. Now, it's looking like if we just do like a uh, smaller, um, like we don't need a hospital, we can get away with a clinic kind of thing. Um, I think we'll be okay. Although it is a city and it would be nice to have the bigger services in it. And where we are looking at expanding, it might really be a good idea. So, yeah, let, let's do that. Okay. So, first thing, I think uh, the most important thing is health care. So, let's throw down a hospital and make everybody really happy. Um, also, putting down these services is going to help upgrade our buildings in the town. So, that's another plus side to it. Next thing we're going to do is plop down a fire um, station. $60,000, so it's going to take us a little bit here. And then we'll go with police station, and then we'll go with schools. Because we need some educated people here to work in our office buildings. Uh, office buildings are going to require a little more education than, um, than these um, industrial buildings would over here. Um, fire hazard is really bad here so I really want to get this building down and I'm wondering if this fire station is going to give us some more fire coverage over here in this area that would be really fantastic um, if we could get like a two for one there kind of thing now that we got our incinerators, I'm almost thinking that uh, we should get rid of this recycling policy and just take the extra money. Um, we'll see if it increases it by very much. So we're making um, almost 6000 right now, but if we get rid of this recycling policy that was costing us some, um, some money, it might increase it by a bit. Now the other thing is our citizens are pretty happy right now and I'm thinking we might be able to raise our taxes. So let's go for uh, my lucky number 11. Let's try raising everything to 11% and see what people think of that. Because if they can deal with that then we're going to make some extra money here. As you can see we're going to make a lot of extra money here. I don't know if that's going to piss people off, but uh, it's making me pretty happy. <laughs> Our money's just skyrocketing with that extra 2% um, increase in taxes. Like, absolutely skyrocketing. Um, so, hopefully people are okay with that. So, that is going to actually reach into... Uh, into our industrial area, depending on where we put it. I'm thinking we might want to put it over here. If we put it here, it's going to give us pretty good coverage. And it's going to cover all the city as well. I think that's our best bet. Actually, it really doesn't cover that much either way. Mm. You know what? Actually, it doesn't. Um, so we can put it we can put it right uh, on this side right there perfect because we may build some in here and make some attachments and at least it'll provide coverage there so the last thing we need is police people are demanding police it's gonna be another sixty thousand um, dollars now our police stations over here can deal with the crime over here it just takes a long time for them to get there so we want to build a, a police station over here, um, and that's going to completely eliminate crime in this area, hopefully. We're only at 7% um, as a whole right now, and that's with very limited police coverage over here. So um, I think with the addition of this police station, it'll really bring things down. Now we could build a small one, and that's actually going to provide pretty good coverage, um, and even building two of them might well, what's it going to cost us? Upkeep is $1,600 a week. Yeah, it might be better to build two small ones here, actually. Because I think one could deal with it for now. And then we could add a second one if we needed to. 
Let's, yeah, let's do that. All right, I'm going to put one here for now. And I think that'll be plenty to deal with this area. And I don't think we need the big police HQ. Um, it's just not something that's necessary. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned it, but I do have mod active. Um, of course, it's not popping up for me right now. There it is. So um, I have demolished, demolished burn buildings and demolished abandoned buildings. So it automatically demolishes buildings for me when they're burned down or abandoned and rezones them right away. So just uh, increasing the efficiency. And that's a mod that I downloaded off the Steam Workshop. Works pretty well. I can see that there's a lot of um, uh, this industrial zone traffic leaving out of that area. Let me just check our... Wow, look at that. So we have half a city going on right now, and uh, traffic is really good. Like, there, are, there's no traffic issues. There's traffic issues here in our town, but over here, it's almost perfect. So I'm really happy with, uh, with how that worked out for us. So far, anyway. Although we haven't uh, gone to full capacity. And I'm thinking about adding another road in here with some more residential to really maximize that. But it is our first city, like I said, so maybe we'll hold off. We'll see. Got my autosave kicking in there. Okay, so what's next here? Well, there's a huge demand for offices. Um... And when I say offices, it's offices or industrial. I could build more farm area over here. Um, I am thinking about that. There goes my timer. Um, so I'm going to have to think about that next episode. But uh, here's what we're looking at. Um, we need schools in our city. Big time. That's pretty much number one priority. Um, aside from that, uh, we have a university that we need to build and we want to try to encompass um, as much of our city as we can. So we would be looking at... I don't think we're going to get full coverage no matter what. We're pretty much going to be able to cover Leversville and Downtown Core, I think, and that's as, as much as we're going to get. Because if we put it in here, it's not going to get any coverage outside. Anyway, so schooling... Um, is something we're going to have to add. We're going to try to add some transport in our downtown core. And then we're going to have to figure out whether we want to plop down some more offices. Which is a risk because it all depends on how many educated people we have. If we don't have enough, then our offices aren't going to work very well. Or if we want to create more industrial, which I think we want to do because we don't have a ton of it right now. Anyway, all things for next episode. We've got a population of... 10,389 so we're over the 10k mark our city's starting to build pretty quickly here as you can see we jumped up uh 2,500 people or so since we added this downtown core with the high density so we're uh we're moving along pretty steadily here and making some pretty good money so hopefully we can keep that going anyway guys hope you enjoyed this episode if you did be sure to leave me a like and a comment i'd love to hear from you and subscriptions are greatly appreciated Till next time take care and i'll see you again soon